Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you some cool things you can do with the paintbrush tool and they are going to be really amazing since so we're going to be including gradients. So let's get started by opening a new page. I think that landscape would be the best choice right now. Add A4 and then we can click on create just like that. So now that I have um, my page, what we're going to do is we're going to make a star and then the fill can be gradient. Then we can go in our gradient tool and we can color it. So I'm gonna do this one blue and then my other one can be pink. So that looks like that. Then I am going to go into my eye picker tool and then I'm gonna go into swatches since I need to swatch this right now. Then I can pick that color easily then I can go onto the new, go onto that on your swatches, and then uh, it's right, you can click on OK, and then you will have this. So, we're going to be using that for some important things. Now, once you've done that, maybe well, what you can do is you can delete that, you can make another star. I'm gonna make this one proper star. And then what you could do is you can make it super small. Then what you can do is you have to um, go into your brushes panel right here, click on the three lines, go onto new brush, and then we're going to put this one to sketch a brush. Then we're going to click on OK. Uh, all right, so um, let's put it up and maybe let's put it in a different color let's put it to this blue yeah and then the stroke should be nothing i just remembered then you could go into the three lines new brush sketch your brush and then you can click on okay and you will have all of this so your size can be random your spacing can be random your sketcher can be random and you can keep your rotation fixed and then you can move all of them forward just like that you know it's like to play around and then there so and our method should be tints and shapes so now we're going to click on okay and then let's get our paintbrush out of the bag of our arts and craft bag and then let's have a go to something and there are our stars but I don't actually like the size now. So I'm gonna double click on my sketcher and maybe the size can be a tiny bit lower. Like that, or smaller, or smaller. Or, you know what, we'll just let's click on okay. Let's click on apply to strokes if that goes on. Then you can select this. We can retry again and then we can put the size a bit lower maybe that will help yeah good so now we can click on okay and if that shows apply to strokes and then that's our one thing and also uh i'm going to show you something else so basically if i if i make that yes and i want to change the color because I don't really like the color anymore. So I'm going to change one of them to a different color. So now I'm going to going to select them, go into object. Now I'm going to find expand appearance. So now it's showing me that, right? Now I can double click, double click again. And then, and then um, you can change it to any color you like. Well, obviously, uh, the stroke should be none, but you can click on the fill and then you can even make a gradient. Or what you can do is you can make it a uh, color from your choice. Basically, let's just control Z that. And then, uh, well, I'm going to change it to this color. Yeah, I like that color. And then you can keep on doing that with all of your stars. So. Um, now that our first thing is done, I wanted to show you the coolest part. So we're going to 
go into our spiral tool and we're going to make a spiral yes yeah there we go just a normal spiral all right then what you can do is you can go into this new brush and then we're not going to select scatter brush we are going to select pattern brush and then we're going to click on ok so then this none can be original or uh one second just let me yeah that can be original and then that can be original Well, let's see how it turns out. So now let's get out our paintbrush tool and let's have a go. Oh, I know what's happening. We need to retry. Okay, so we've actually done something. Let's select it. Let's delete it. Now we need another one. I'm gonna give it that color. I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna click on new brush. We're going to select pattern brush and we're going to click on OK. Then once we've done that, we are going to put this to original. Well, I think that we can leave that to the original one, but it's all right. We can keep that. So yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Now let's click on OK. And then let's get our paintbrush tool and let's have a go at rank A. And there are your swirls. So now what we're going to do is we're going, as I'm going to show you something else. So we're going to double click here and let's see what happens when we turn this to none. Then let's click on OK. Let's click on apply to strokes. And that is looking a bit different. Uh, so now guys, um, now that I have made my thing, now what I wanted to do is, I'm just going to quickly delete that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. So we're going to select it and we're going to um, go to object and we're going to do expand appearance and we're going to double click, double click on, double click on that one or all of them and you can just put the stroke to gradient yeah and then let's have a look let's select them all and we can put the stroke to gradient and that is how it will look so um that's the end of my, my video make sure to subscribe and click on the bell button and i will see you in my next video Bye.